is the start of our road trip. We just picked up our car from a company called Overland Japan and we stopped at a convenience store to pick up some food because we haven't eaten breakfast yet. Oh. It looks like a mixture of things. So and Rice and spaghetti, huh? Rice, spaghetti, hamburger meat, mm. sausage, chicken. I remember back then, if it's the same one, they used to put so much green onions on top. We just made it to camp. Can't believe we're camping in Japan. It's kind of unreal to think about. Never thought I'd camp in Japan. Um, and it's really beautiful. I love you. Love you too. Oh, the sun is gonna set in 30 minutes. My first time cooking eggs over a fire. Wonder if it would be extra tasty. And we're having ramen noodles. This is a tom yum flavor. Never had that before either, so I'm excited. Ooh, it's getting pretty cold now. Tonight was supposed to be about 30 degrees. I think so. Feels like it's already 30. It's 38 right now, but lowest is gonna be 30. This time around, I feel like it feels okay, maybe because right now we're sitting at our little campfire. I think going to bed is going to be pretty painful. <laughs> Overland Japan, um, who we're renting the car from, said that they have like all season bedding. So I thought we were going to get down sleeping bags, but they actually only have um, a down blanket. And they also have a heated blanket in there, but we'll see how well that works. As long as that heats up well, I think we'll be okay. And then we have these little heat packs. So... We are in bed and the heated blanket does not work. <laughs> <laughs> we are camping for three nights total and we were really hoping that the heated blanket was going to keep us super warm, but it's not working because it's broken. So yeah, it's okay though. You know, we're gonna stay optimistic. We're gonna be okay. It's definitely pretty chilly right now, but thankfully, we do have a few blankets, so... <laughs> 30 lowest? We'll, we'll see. It's so cold that we're not even washing our faces tonight. That is just not gonna happen. I know. So I'm sleeping with makeup on. Yeah. Yeah, well... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cold therapy is healthy, they said. Yeah, we'll see it how it goes. It stress and all these other things for you, they so, said. It's gonna relieve our life away from us too. <laughs> Good morning! Oh, I finally slept well last night. So we've been in Japan for about a week and a half right now. And so far the past week and a half, I have not been able to sleep well. I was sleeping maybe on average like three to four hours every night. And finally last night I slept for 12. I'm so glad I was finally able to just really get some good sleep in. I'm normally not the type to need a lot of sleep. Like I'm fully functioning with even six hours of sleep, but the three to four was way too little. I'm very happy. I finally was able to sleep in. And I think being in nature had to do with it. Being in Tokyo in the really small hotel room kind of gave me claustrophobia. So every morning when I woke up, I felt just anxious. So yeah, today was good because I woke up and we're just out here in nature. So it feels amazing. And we're gonna camp for two more nights. So we're headed to another campground later today. And Wa planned some activities for us along the way. So I'm excited. He is the planner in our relationship. So most of the times, I usually am the one to plan the flight. Like I look up the flight and things like that. Um, hotels maybe, but usually he plans all the little things that we will do in between. 
Um, he's such a planner, so I'm really thankful that he is the way he is <laughs> because it just makes things so easy for me. <laughs> Even last night, he stayed up looking up parking structures near a place that I wanted to go to just to make sure that we have a place to park the car once we get there. It's just the little things, little things that I don't normally think about. So yeah, we travel really well and I feel like this trip has really, really reminded me how awesome he is. Even though I've always known that, but my man's is amazing. Just wanted to put it out there. <laughs> vlog at all because once we got to camp it was just like a fight against the light it's also a fight against the wind yes it was we just ate dinner we just made noodles you can see more of it on Wall's channel yeah i'll show you the site tomorrow because it's a really beautiful spot and um it's quite cold tonight It is a very cold morning today. It was so cold last night. I woke up quite a few times, but good thing I had these little heat packs. These really help. A lot of people left yesterday. Today is Tuesday, so yesterday on Monday, most people left and it's pretty empty. But when we got here on Sunday night, it was so packed. It was just filled with people. But the crazy part is everyone is so mindful of everyone's like space. So even though there was a ton of people, it was so quiet. So we've kind of been having to whisper just to like keep our voices down. Just a nice big grassy field and you just make a reservation online. After you make a reservation, you come here and you can just park in any open space. So we are parked over here. And then uh, Matt and Sandra came and joined us last night. They're also road tripping and they rented this van. That's what they've been camping in. And this is what we have been camping in. It comes with Wait, real clams. Stop. Look at that. This is impressive. Uh, should I turn this off? Um, no. Last night, Wal forgot his toiletry bag outside and look at it this morning. <laughs> it's completely frosted over as well as our chairs. All right. And now my most dreaded part of the morning, going to the bathroom and having to wash my face with cold water. really show you this hotel last night because we got in pretty late and I thought I would give you a tour before we leave in case any of you are visiting Japan and wanted to find a pretty budget friendly and centrally located hotel. This one is called the Square Ginza Hotel. It's rated as a three-star hotel. It's really clean. At least our room is really clean and I feel like considering it's in Ginza, we have quite a lot of space. So this is our entry area. Have a little rack over here we have an area for our shoes and then we have a sink vanity and then over here is the toilet shower the shower is really clean it feels feels pretty new and then there's so many doors in this room a door to the shower a door to the toilet and then a door that separates the bedroom from the bathroom I think this is a queen size bed, which is a first. We have been sleeping on full size beds and this one is actually a queen, so that's nice. 
We have this area for our luggage. There's a TV in here, which is nice. We have a window. Doesn't really look out to anything. We're on the ninth floor. Um, and it's just like a rooftop. But yeah, at least there's a window. Fridge. That's nice, having a fridge. Um, kettle, cups, a safe. And then this little sofa, which is nice, so that we have somewhere to sit other than just sitting on the bed. This was a good hotel. I would definitely be back if we were ever to stay in this area again. But today we are headed to the Muji Hotel, which I'm so excited for. And the reason why we're moving hotels is because we were only able to get two nights at the Muji Hotel. We wanted to get three nights so that our whole time here in Ginza will be there, but they only had two nights available. And so we just needed something for tonight. And yeah, now we're gonna move our things over there Wish us luck. <laughs> My laundry all smells kind of mildewy. We did laundry here last night, um, but the laundry machine was kind of mildewy, and now all my clothes smell mildewy. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot the shower stuff. Oh, I almost forgot my cleansers. This one, once you get to the red bean, it has a really refreshing touch. Usually I wouldn't describe red bean as refreshing, but it, it's really refreshing mm. having a bite of the beans. It's a big room. I thought the rooms were gonna be super small, but it's very spacious. How pretty, and it smells really nice in here. Oh, it looks so cute. It's beautiful. Wow. We have like a sofa area, a TV. It's so beautiful. 
here is our entrance. And then I guess this is the toilet. Oh, wow! Wow. Oh, and then a full length mirror. Oh, love it. So when we checked in, they gave us a complimentary essential oil that goes in the diffuser. There are diffusers in the room and we chose the scent Japanese Cypress. Probably just put a few drops. Part of the reason I was so excited to stay in Ginza was because of the Muji Hotel, and it definitely did not disappoint. On the second morning, we took advantage of our complimentary breakfast. This was included in our reservation. If your reservation did not include the breakfast voucher, I believe you can pay $35 per person. Overall, we really enjoyed the breakfast. When we first walked in, it looked very small, so I thought there weren't going to be a ton of options, but as we started walking around, they did have quite a few things to choose from. They had things like eggs, toast, you know, your usual breakfast with pastries, pancakes, yogurt, but they also had savory items like chicken, fish, pork. A lot of the food items were actually things that you can buy packaged at the Muji store, which I thought was really cool. I never even noticed that Muji had that many food items. Muji, if you are watching this video, please bring a Muji hotel to the US and please bring back your stores. Thank you. And finally, we have reached the last day of our trip. On the morning of, we checked out of the Muji Hotel and decided to pop in to the Muji Diner, which is a restaurant that's located on the basement level of the Muji building. I would have to say I was not super impressed with the menu on this particular day. We got a set that included a garden salad, a soup, and a pasta. I believe the menu is seasonal, so depending on what time you come, there are different items. I will definitely be back to try again the next time I would just check to make sure ahead of time that there's something I was super interested in the menu and that about wraps up this trip. I had such a great time exploring Tokyo as well as the mountainside of Japan. I think camping was probably the highlight of this trip. I definitely would love to camp again next time we visit Japan and explore other mountains and lakesides. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching these Japan videos. If you haven't seen my first one yet, I'll link it here. Definitely check it out and I will see you in my next video. Bye!